Shalom family. Pray all is well with the righteous. This is just this is just a update of what's going on in the land of Babylon and how it's spreading in other parts of the world. And our people that say they in the truth, they want to bury their heads in the sand and pretend like this isn't going on. If they proclaim this, they will be, they will look bad. They will look like they're misrepresenting their belief. And so they ignore it. Just like the Christians ignore it, the Hebrew Israelites, this is something they ignore. They talk about they talk about all the other things that's in the mainstream media, but this one here, they don't discuss. Now, this video is is it's gonna it's gonna be geared towards the ones within the borders and not the ones in Babylon. The ones in other countries, of course, you need to know of this and what's going on what's happening in Babylon and how she is so different than than other countries and how she's affecting other countries but for for the ones that's within the borders the ones in Babylon you know this story you see it but for the ones in the borders and especially the ones that's been in the borders for years you've been in the borders for years you hadn't been in Babylon in years some of us almost a decade and so it's changed since we've been there it's it does our memory of babylon is completely different example people that grew up in the 60s and the 70s adults they have memories of what it was like and those those days are gone they don't exist anymore and so the ones in the border, we don't really, we don't see what's happening day after day, day after day. We're within the borders, living our lives, and we're in another world. Over here, you're in another world, a different world, a more peaceful world, a more calming world, a more quieter world. And we don't see what people in Babylon are seeing every day. And the only reason... The only reason we know of this is our family members. And of course, for the ones in the borders, if you're in contact with your family members, surely they probably told you the same thing. Well, you can't tell who's who in Babylon. Who's who? Who's men? Who's a man? Who's a woman? When they're walking down the street, you can't tell who's who. See, in our world, we walk down the street, that's a lady, that's a lady, that's a guy, that's a guy. That's a man, that's a woman, that's a child, that's a boy, that's a little girl. We can tell easily who's who. Not so in Babylon. In family, this has created a problem for our people. Our people are old now. In their 20s, 30s, 40s. And they are afraid to get married because... You don't know who's who. And I get it. I understand it. This is why we should come out and be around people. We can tell who's who. Homosexuality is illegal in the borders. Illegal, except for Israel, the land of Israel. It's not illegal there. They're homosexual friendly, which shows and proves we're not supposed to be over there. So we got reports back from family members and others. It, it, at the mouth of two to three witnesses, let every word be established. We've had people that come within the borders to tell us. Yeah, that's true. You can't tell them the boys from the girls. You can't tell the men from the women walking down the street. In family, that's, that's just completely wicked. But this is what our people are used to in America. They've they've gotten it. they've gotten used to it. They have adjusted and they moved on. The end of gender. They 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 want this thing to end. Male and female and husband and wife. They changed the 
meaning of marriage between a man and a woman. Now the meaning is, it's between two people that love each other. Two that love each other? That's a marriage now. And it, it, it goes even crazier and deeper than that. People say, well, I love my mom. So I'll marry my mom. And that's what they're doing. I love my dad. So I'll marry my dad. It doesn't end. Man, looks like a lady. Men with feminine faces more likely to be a hit with women. If you are a man and you look feminine, this the thing now. It's in. You can get more women now. If you masculine, that's out. And a lot of the women, they've been program, programmed through the television and movies. And a lot of the women, they're not no longer attracted to a masculine man. And so now they're attracted to this effeminate man. We weren't supposed to be effeminate. We, we, we should know this. Most I didn't create us that way. He created a man, masculine man, and a feminine female. This is the right order. They hate the father, so they change this order. And when they change this order, we can't ignore it. We can't stick our head in the ground. Like you, like these wicked Bible teachers in Babylon. You see, they're wicked to the core. You don't open up the Bible and try to teach us anything. Get out the book. Get out. You need to get out the book. They're not going to do it now. Don't think they're going to do it. But the father going to kick them out. Why are you speaking my word in your mouth? You as wicked to the core, but yet you speak my words? How can you, being evil, speak good things? See, they place this madness all in the news. They want people to understand. Why women don't like macho men? Growing up in our days, in the 70s and the 80s, macho men was in. Everybody wanted, the people that watch wrestling, they wanted to be like the macho man, Randy Savage. He was tough. He was built. He was muscular. And the women, they would fall at his feet. They would be at awe just to touch the strength of his powerful, strong arms. What happened to us? Esau. Esau happened to us. They changed this. Women don't, most women now don't want macho men. This is madness. Straight madness. When the men that were soft, very soft. They had to hide their softness back in the 60s and 70s. They had to hide it. We had a saying. Look at him. He's in the closet. And if you say anything relating to you in the closet, I ain't in the closet. I'm straight. I get women. You know, they go on the defense quickly because it was very, very offensive. And it's still very, very offensive to the most high, but not to the wicked. The wicked will embrace this. The wicked will say it's okay for a man to put on clothes that pertains to a woman. And it's okay for a woman to put on clothes that pertains to a man. And when we do this, we blur the line. Look at this picture. What is this? What, what in the world is this? We blur the picture. This picture is blurred. If you don't know anything about this, this story, Right now, you will be wondering, okay, is this a coach? <laughs> is this the coach of this little girl's team? Look at these little girls. Little girls. Is this the coach? Nah. He in a uniform. He's a player. Wait a second. <clears throat> How is this possible? This man <clears throat> is over 50 years old. He claims to be a transgender. Look at this. Six foot eight. He's six foot eight playing basketball with little with girls old enough to be his daughters and granddaughters? Yes. 
That's correct. The line has been blurred. Who allows this? Which of these girls or which of the girls on the other team that's the size of these and smaller? Who can stop this giant? Who? The Most High ain't with him to stop. See, the Most High was with dude when he went up against the giant. If the Most High ain't with you, you ain't gonna be able to do it. These little girls don't know what's going on. The parents don't know what's going on. He shouldn't be on our team. He shouldn't be the coach. He should be teaching us the game. This man, the story goes, this man served in the United States. He fought in war. He's a, he's a, he's a soldier in Edom's army. This is who he is. He, he fought in wars. And now, since he's over 50 years old, he figured, I think he's 52 now. He's six foot eight. He's playing on a girls basketball team. And so we're going to hide this, right? Let's hide it. Look at it. Doesn't want to go to the next pitch. I tell you what, this thing has really been struggling since I've, ever since I've tried to get these links to, for this video, this computer really struggled. No, I'm not doing this. You're not doing this. This is him. It's not hidden. ESPN. This, this man was, he had a featured slot on ESPN. They did a story on this. Sure did. And it doesn't end there. Because you see, there's a problem with these men playing in the sports with the women. Come on, women. Men are naturally stronger and bigger and more powerful and more faster than women. We were built this way. There are some, a few women, watch this, that are more powerful than other women and are powerful than some men. But you take the most powerful woman and the most powerful man because some men are more powerful powerful than other men some men are just naturally weak in a small frame and little muscle it doesn't work it's not going to work so these men should be competing against these women and we see them blowing the women out in races just running rush shot all over these poor women that work so hard in their sport we shouldn't be competing against one another. Imagine the NBA versus the WNBA. It wouldn't be a game. It would be awful. It, it wouldn't. It's not right. And so this is what happens. This stuff spreads to other countries. This is a Korean boy group that looks like girls. And honestly... The girls are going, I see the girls. I see the girls going crazy over these boys because they're feminine and they look like girls and then now they're attracted to this. And they love this. Boys looking like girls. This stuff has spread to other countries. You better believe it. That's what cancer does. It spreads. It spreads throughout the body and they have to cut it off or it will kill the entire body. If the Most High don't cut this off, all of us going to be dead. Every last one of us, we will be dead. This is why, family within the borders, this is why we must go into the wilderness. To escape this madness, to get away, to get far from this madness and know and understand all the people in the lands of captivity. This mess will not be in the wilderness. Babylon will Babylon is not everywhere. It will not be in the wilderness. Edom will have no rulership in the wilderness. The UN will have no power in the wilderness. No, the Most High will have complete control and power of this place. And we don't understand this. We still don't get this. We still willing to stay amongst the wicked and be led as a sheep prepared for the slaughter. We didn't, we're not hiding this. 
Shalom.